With Arc Ascendant coming out, I wanted to test out to see what the vacuums would be like. When you hit tech tier, what would it be like having an underwater base? Whether it would be awesome if there's changes, if there's anything amazing. As you can see, there are massive changes. You can open up all vacuum seals and have an airlock base underwater without having the vacuum chambers closed. That is crazy. So I decided to do some testing and to find out what would activate, how you would build and how it would work being in a vacuum chamber underwater while having everything open. As you could see at the start, I tried to activate a generator and I thought maybe there's a hole in here. Maybe it's stopping me from powering everything. I couldn't power any powered things. I thought a tech generator would actually solve that because I know tech generators can work underwater. So I powered one of those up and went to go see whether that would help power everything. But sadly, even if with that, it wouldn't power anything. I had fuel in my forge, I had fuel in everything, but nothing would activate. So I was confused. Why isn't this working? Even tech replicator isn't working. I don't know what's going on. Is there a hole in the roof or is something else? I was trying to figure out, maybe I need to place it on the actual vacuum chamber rather than on foundations because I had put foundations all on the floor and was trying to use it so I could make a full structure. I went up above and I started placing it on the vacuum chamber. And guess what? Stuff actually worked. So I know now the foundations are what's stopping it from actually working. So I headed back down to my testing area and I thought, hey, I better start picking everything up, picking up all the foundations and everything. So I started picking up foundations to go find out if this was actually the way to go. Every foundation started getting picked up and I was like, damn, man, this is gonna be cool. We're gonna have an underwater base. Picked up all the items because I wanted to make sure that placing them down before didn't screw them up and make them bad. And now it's time to activate, now it's time to activate the floors and to find out whether this is actually gonna work. Because if this works, then you can have a vacuum base with no walls and it completely open. You can shoot out of it possibly. We'll have to find that out as well. So I started placing everything back down, all my electrical equipment and stuff that I want to find out whether it's going to work. My testing little thingy-majiggies. And we're gonna find out once and for all What do you guys reckon? Do you reckon it's gonna work? Do you reckon I can open up all these walls and have everything that's electrical work within that little air pocket? Do you think it's gonna work? I'm testing out the little teleporter to see if this is all good because everything else seems to work and this seems to work as well. So it's all looking good so far. Now we just have to open up the edges and find out whether it's gonna stay like this. But first we need to place down some lighting to make it look nice because it's pretty dark down here and I want it to look good for you guys. Otherwise, hey, you guys can't appreciate the quality of graphics. You know the graphics upgrade pack that was ASA? Oh it's time to find out! And with that I started opening up on all the walls and guess what? Everything stayed working. Nothing turned off, nothing shut down. This seems to be super hopeful. This makes underwater bases ridiculous and actually kind of cool. I don't know if this is an intended function or feature, but oh my God, this is so weird. You can see outside. I wonder if you can actually shoot out of the walls at people, because if you can, you can use fabbies underwater. And that is one thing you never used to be able to do. So that would be insane for taking out people that are trying to rush your base. You make a little platform and stop people from coming forward while they're wearing scuba gear and everything else. Lighten the fires and all that underneath to prove that I've got a fire underwater of all things. Underwater. That's crazy. Now to place down the forge. Now with the forge placed down and it actually working as well, I turned everything on even though it was super noisy and I apologize for that. I tried to turn the volume down a bit, but I was so excited to show you guys the rest of what you can do. You can place down pillars and use those pillars as places to put your turrets if you don't want to fully seal it in. That would then be defenses for you. You can also have outside, outside turret towers as well, outside of this place, but it allows you to be able to shoot people possibly all the way out there and defend yourself with a fabby which is something you've never been able to do before. Above 
defenses I thought hey I'm going to use some quarter ceilings start placing turrets all over them if I do that then it allows for a lot of space for openings and not so much coverage and, and LOS and the base is looking really good all the stuff I've tried to show you guys it's starting to look really nice and I thought I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a uh, cinematic quickly and show you just how beautiful this is now sit back enjoy and then we'll get into the rest of the video What do you reckon guys, was that beautiful? <laughs> now it's time, you know what time it is? It's time to test out Tames Underwater. I want to know whether if a wild dinosaur gets punched and it flies out of this bubble, will it die? Oh, it survived. See you later, mate. From what I know, flies don't actually die if they go into water, they don't drown. And these are no exception. These are surviving and making their way back up to shore to reset themselves. Now, can I shoot out of here? I'm trying to find out if I can shoot out of here. And so far, oh, what? He just flew in midair. So I couldn't shoot out, but now I can shoot out. I must be hitting like the railings or something, but I've got flying sharks on me right now. And that's, this is like Sharknado all over again. I'm terrified. However, the testing has shown that wild dinosaurs that are swimmers can actually come into air pockets and float. That's really strange. Can I hop on this pteranodon and fly out? and actually fly into water? Thank god I can't, even though I'm in GCM right now, I still can't. And the Tyranodon goes up to the sky. I then decided I'm going to make some floating structures and see if they will hold turrets. And then I was trying out the rocket launcher to see if I could shoot that out. However, it blew up my face. I think I may have hit one of the intersections. I tried to shoot it from outside in thinking maybe I'd be glitched and I'd be able to shoot rockets underwater now. That didn't work, so that's a good thing, because if that was a possibility, that'd be really bad. Then I went above to go test out whether I can shoot straight through the air pocket. And the first time I did, it hit something and actually done damage. Then I shot again and it went directly through. So I think it's hitting the intersection, kind of uh, the wiring parts of the vacuums. As you can see, if I shoot straight through the middle, it's fine. But whenever I shoot towards that, it blows up. So that must be a thing. I thought you couldn't do damage to it at all. And if you couldn't, that would have been really broken. And I'm kind of glad that you can still do damage to the corners and the parts where it, where it all connects. Now it's time to force tame a shark. I want to know whether if I can swim into the air pocket and not die or not get kicked off. That's the question. I'm not getting kicked off. Oh, wait a second. I'm in GCM still. I need to actually get rid of that and then try it without it. Or actually first I'm going to hop off of it while I'm in the air pocket and see if it dies. Okay, yeah, it dies straight away. Now I need to test it without GCM. Swim in and see what happens. Because that will be the ultimate test, because GCM, I think, changes a few things. And, okay, it dies straight away. So that can't work. That is perfect. If that was a thing, that would have been so broken. And that would have really ruined the game. So I'm glad that doesn't work and it makes me happy. But it's still so good to be able to see all this around and shoot out. As you can see, I'm shooting out. It's not hitting anything. I can shotgun things. I can compound bow things. I can fabby. But then I try and fabby again. And for some reason, it's not hitting. Even though I'm not in GCM, and I was before, I'm still going to try and test it when I'm not in GCM so I can find out, well and truly, whether I can shoot out. 
and this is going to be the test right now. I'm going to find out at this point right now. And I can still hit things outside, so that's OP. That's OP, guys. Now I'm going to test out whether you can paint these air pockets rather than just the structures. You can't paint the air pockets, but you can paint the structures, so that would be pretty weird to see, like, coloured air walls. And now it's time to see if turrets will shoot out of air pockets. And they do. They shoot everything outside of the air pockets. So this is insane. But that is the end of the video, guys. I'm sorry if I didn't cover everything. Let me know if there was something I didn't cover. And we'll discuss it in the comments below. Let me know if there was something you would have tested to find out if it worked. I know there's a lot of PvP people out there that would have been like, hey, there was this one thing. Oh, what if you could do that? Oh, man, you should check this. Let me know down below and we'll discuss it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.